Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles in Collecting, where I'm going to unbox the Robot Spirits RGM79G Gym Ground Type version anime from Mobile Suit Gundam, the 8th MS Team. This figure came out in May 2022 and retailed for 7,150 yen, or about $54. In the US, the figure retailed for $76. So this is the latest figure in the Gundam 8th MS Team line. I've really been enjoying the Robot Spirits Gundam 8th MS Team. I thought that the figures have been really good. I think the selection's been great. Um, they've been trying to recreate a lot of, you know, poses from the show and stuff like that. I've heard some not amazing things about this figure. Let's see, um, you know, kind of what I think after opening it up. I think I'm probably a little less harsh than um, some other reviewers because, you know, I'm just sort of looking for something that's cool on my shelf. It doesn't have to be the most, you know, amazing uh, created figure of all time. But let's start off with the figure. So, you know, a pretty typical gym. I think it's... You know, something that we've kind of all seen here and there. I mean, I know that a lot of the complaints were with, you know, there's like some, uh, you know, the seams are kind of visible, um, you know, so maybe in that regard it kind of looks a little bit more like a model kit than a uh, figure. Uh, this shoulder seems maybe a little bit loose, but not really the end of the world. Um, little scuffing on the shoulder, probably could wipe that up, wipe that, might be able to wipe that off. Um, still has some of the features of the uh, of the uh, RX-79 with the beam saber holsters on the side there. But yeah, I mean, it's not an amazing figure, but it's, I mean, I think it's fine. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not going to discount the problems that are there. You know, there's definitely some, so you got to take a look uh, at that, you know, some quality control issues. Um, but I guess at least for me, you know, if it's on if it's on your shelf, unless you're giving it like a super thorough inspection, you know, it's probably not going to be the end of the world, but certainly not the highest quality figure, um, you know, that, that Bandai has, has ever made. And especially at this price point, you know, you kind of hope for, for better. Um, take a look at some of the accessories here. You know, obviously it's a gym. They've made a bazillion gyms. Obviously this one's a little different, but you would think they would kind of have that uh, down by now. I don't know what this thing is. It's kind of cool, though. It's unique for at least... Shields. Just been seeing a lot. Being been seeing a lot of that shield lately. I get my uh, tweezers here so I can get some of these accessories out. So yeah, these guns. You know, they're pretty typical guns. Nothing special. There's some cool option part sets. Um, cool option parts for the gym, or I don't know if they're specifically for the gym, but there are some cool option parts from the option part set that I didn't use. So I'll probably break those out for this. Um, dig in the shield. The shield. I got the uh, ball and chain here. I feel like I didn't have any ball and chains, and then like recently I've just gotten like a bazillion of them. Um, kind of bunch of hands. Got the beam sabers. Got a few of the effect parts. I'm assuming this is a missile effect part. Uh, I got the regular beam saber. I think this is probably the beam saber. You got the little Kylo Ren uh, effect there. And then finally you have the curved beam saber, which I'm not even is not even special anymore because just pretty much like literally every figure comes with it at this point. But it, you know, it's nice. So yeah, you know, this is a very typical Super Robot Spirits release so far. You know, I'll, I'll play around with it. Like I said, there's some cool option parts that I didn't get to use with the RX-79 um, that I'd like to use with this. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes, pose this guy, and I'll have some final thoughts. All right, and we are back, so let's get this guy on the rotating stand and give some final thoughts here. You know, I think this is a fine figure. You know, I don't think, I think that on the eight, the scale of the 8th MS Team ones, this is probably 
um, the least interesting. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with it. I mean, we discussed some of the stuff, but I, you know, I don't think it's super deal breaker. It's just nothing like super exciting. Like I said, there's a lot of cool effect parts for the 8th MS team stuff, so I feel like if you just have a bunch of extra ones, this is a good enough figure to put it on. I like this thing on the back here that's cool for like holding the ball and chain there. Um, there are a bunch of accessories. You know, I feel like the, the big shield is a little unnecessary because I mean, that this small shield is so cool and so iconic. Why would you not, um, you know, just use that instead? And it would be weird if you had two shields. But um, I think it's a, you know, I think it's a fine figure. I think it's probably not super nice for the amount of money that it costs. But, um, I th you know, you kind of know what you, you're getting into when you buy it. I'd say, you know, probably maybe slightly below average figure. Um, but nothing like super bad about it, just nothing super redeeming about it, especially after seeing so many of the, the RX-79s, um, you know, from, from this line. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like or subscribe, and if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. If there's something else you want to see with this figure or something else, uh, let me know, and I'll, I'll see what I could do. I'm doing figure reviews on Tuesdays and Fridays, and annual reviews on Thursday, doing a show called Call of the Night. Um, I would definitely check it out. It's pretty good. Maybe watch one or two of my reviews if you're if you're on the fence and, and thinking about it they're pretty short anyway thanks so much and keep collecting